to become recognised as one of Australia's truly integrated eco-based tourism and recreation resort destinations. This is our vision. This presentation will demonstrate how this will be achieved and the critical role which Cooma Waters Phase 2, previously known as Nature's House, will play in achieving this vision. Cooma Waters Phase 1, which has already commenced construction, provides a strong boost to regional tourism and recreation. Attractions such as the Resort Hotel, the Marina Village, the 17 hectare recreational lake and associated beach and the preservation of a large number of existing Melaleuca wetland forests and salt marsh areas will all become wonderful regional tourism assets. There is a wonderful opportunity to expand upon this base, particularly in terms of exploring the eco-based tourism and recreation possibilities that exist within the region. Coomera Waters Phase Coomera 2, Waters phase provides, two this provides the opportunity to introduce a diverse range of eco-based tourism and recreational assets to complement and strengthen the activity hub of the resort and marina village already established in Phase 1. Phase 2 introduces an additional 120 hectares of environmental framework. Without Phase 2, the possibilities of achieving the project's ultimate eco-vision and creating an exceptional integrated eco-based recreational destination are dramatically reduced. Criminal Waters will provide an essential and welcomed recreational outbreak space for the entire northern region of the Gold Coast. It will complement and strengthen the existing regional tourism and recreation facilities. Unlike many of the other attractions within this region, Coomera Waters is not five star and does not charge an admission price. It is, however, an integrated, family oriented recreation destination providing over 200 hectares of public accessible, eco-based recreation and educational experiences. A wide range of community services and infrastructure exist within a 5 to 10 kilometre radius of the project, including the proposed town centre, which is located only 5 kilometres from the centre the of the site. The project's low density of less than 4 dwellings per hectare ensures minimal impact on these services. Local community groups and businesses have indicated a resounding support for the benefits that this project will bring to the region. Following 12 months of extensive research and analysis, including high resolution aerial photography, detailed on-site surveys and investigations such as fauna and flora studies, the team have now gathered a very accurate and clear indication of the site's true characteristics. These studies have now enabled the team to identify the areas of high environmental significance and those that are most suitable for eco-based tourism and recreation. This revised base data has also enabled an accurate review of the existing East Coomer structure plan. With this new accurate base information now available, the team has been able to progress the planning in a confident and responsible manner. Coomera Waters boldly embraces a number of the core elements of the draft Gold Coast Tourism Strategy. The project will develop tourism and recreational opportunities that are accessible and attractive to local residents and will also establish new market niches, particularly in ecotourism. An extensive eco-based recreational strategy has been established for Coomera Waters. The primary objective of this recreational strategy is to ensure that a wide range of eco-based recreational opportunities are provided to visitors in order to and achieve this objective, objective. Six main elements have been designed to provide a memorable education and unexpected and research are the main tourism purposes experience. of the Coomera Waters Environment and Education Centre. Aimed at children but available to all interested groups, this centre will encourage environmental appreciation and outdoor experimental learning utilising the natural and enhanced assets of Coomera Waters and the southern Moreton Bay regions. This land is to be committed for this purpose and Oscorp is currently undertaking discussions with a number of parties who have expressed an interest in developing this facility. This unique regional asset is planned to ultimately include an environmental information centre, activity rooms, teaching facilities, sleeping accommodation, amenities and a camping area. Adventure facilities including rock climbing, high ropes course, obstacle course, orienteering and health training will also be incorporated. Strategically located with direct access off the entry boulevard, the focus of the Coomera Waters Recreation Centre will be active tourism and recreation. Whilst the main thrust of Coomera Waters relates to the environment as part of the eco-tourism experience, there is a tourism and recreation need to provide a more formal and organised activity centre. A multi-purpose village green will be the centrepiece of this attraction. Complementing this main facility, will be tennis courts, a pool and adventure playground. The community hall and gymnasium will also provide a wonderful regional asset for scout groups and other clubs and associations. Passive recreation and eco-education are the objectives of the Billabong Parkland. This attraction will cater for families and other large groups such as school classes 
who will enjoy a botanic garden type atmosphere, including a billabong water feature, as well as experimental plots and garden space. This destination will also include stormwater management education via constructed wetlands and vegetation filters, rainforest regeneration projects for school participation, school lab facilities for water testing and a weather station. Low canopy walks and bridges will provide discovery opportunities, particularly for small children, and facilities for passive recreation such as barbecues, picnic tables and seating will also be included. A grassed amphitheatre for community functions, a celebration space, areas for community art and sculptures are all features of this destination. The fourth tourism and recreation node is the Kuruma Waters Interpretive Centre. It is centrally located in a prominent position on the western side of Coleman Road. This location will serve as a focal point for the integral trail system and will provide the first point of contact for local residents and visitors with their natural environment. This facility will include a public car park and interpretive centre providing general information and walk guides. Additional land will also be set aside for the future development of facilities which may include a ranger office, indigi centre, art gallery, performance space and a small boutique nursery. It is also intended that this centre will include an area for permanent and visiting displays. A variety of bird baths and bird feeding areas will also provide yet a further attraction to this centre. Complementing the overall tourism strategy, Kuruma Waters has also introduced a series of small group conference centres. Three centres are strategically located throughout the project to provide a distinct and memorable conferencing experience to complement the resort facilities established in Phase 1. An expansive and integrated trail system has been designed to be a major component of the outdoor recreational experience at Kuruma Waters. This trail system will provide a diverse mix of walking, bicycle, horse and electric cart access to the different communities of flora and fauna throughout the project. An extensive system of educational signage with interpretive notes will also be provided along the trail system at various points of special interest. Given the diverse environmental experiences available within the 200 hectares of eco framework, eight distinct trail journeys, almost all of which are circuits, have been included. These trails, together with the five tourism and recreational nodes, create one of the region's most unique array of diverse and integrated ecotourism and recreational experiences. Public water access for canoe launching and the like is also provided in three additional strategic locations. To further strengthen the environmentally sensitive design philosophy that has already occurred throughout the project, a number of areas have been identified that require a high level of environmental design and control. These areas are located on visually significant high ground and precincts directly adjacent to environmentally sensitive areas. The landscape design philosophy for Coomera Waters will focus on high quality, innovative and ecologically sustainable design that will play a significant role in providing a unique, unified and cohesive image and character for this project. Native and endemic plants have been introduced, including those that will attract wildlife, butterflies, dragonflies and other fascinating insects. The development team has taken the utmost care to ensure that the landscape character and setting will become a feature in its own right and will play an important role in achieving our eco-vision. Coomera Waters aims to become recognised as one of Australia's most successful environmentally sustainable communities. Oscorp have proudly embraced the key principles of sustainability to ensure this goal can be achieved. In addition to the many elements already discussed, Coomera Waters has introduced an integrated water management system incorporating the latest technology in water polishing. Extreme care has also been taken to ensure that environmentally responsible engineering and urban design solutions are achieved at all levels throughout the project. An architectural code, including a review committee, has been established to guide smart living. Mandatory gas and solar hot water systems will also apply to every resident. Community education on environmental sustainability will also occur through specific Coomera Waters programs, including the production of a Coomera Waters Sustainability Manual. As evidenced by the above, an extraordinary effort has taken place over the past 12 months evaluating the previous plan of development and addressing councils and other authorities' concerns. Throughout this process, a genuine excitement within the team has emerged given the appreciation of the rare opportunity that the integration of Coomera Waters Phase 1 and 2 brings to the Gold Coast region. Fauna and flora studies, including the identification of HAT and the 100 metre buffer, have accurately identified areas of environmental sensitivity and those most suitable for ecotourism and recreational opportunities. Five additional tourism and recreation nodes have been established in Phase 2 
to complement and strengthen the central activity resort and marina node established in phase one. The extensive integrated trail and pathway system which covers over 30 kilometres and the associated eco-based experiences that these paths provide are certainly some of the most wonderful and unique assets which this project brings to the region. The integration of a number of middens and additional public water access points are also further assets to the region. The establishment of five distinct areas requiring specialist eco-based building and architectural codes further reinforces the commitment to create something very special in this region. The incorporation of an environmentally sensitive road design including the concept of establishing an innovative fauna and pedestrian friendly corridor along Coleman Road provides the final ingredient to this carefully revised plan. Whilst Coomera Waters Phase 1 will be a project of exceptional standard and quality and will provide a number of new tourism and recreational facilities, we respectfully seek council support and appreciation that it is only through the added opportunities and value which Phase 2 brings that this project can reach its full potential and become recognised as a truly integrated, eco-based tourism and recreational destination for residents and visitors to the Gold Coast.